here in Media Composer, whenever we want to speed up an alpha channel clip, something with a mat on it, it's a little more involved than just grabbing time warp. So look at this here, for example. So how those explosions come in, if we come back here, let me turn off this background clip. Uh, those explosions, those fast explosions are actually this clip right here. You see how slow it actually is. It's actually a very slow clip, so we had to speed that up. So how do we do that? Now, if I just grab time warp and try to drop it on here, it doesn't apply, okay? Now, sometimes you can just hop right in here. You can drop your time warp right on there, which we'll look at here uh, in a minute, but we can't, uh, we can't here. So how, how do we do this? Well, it's not, uh, it's not that hard. What you need to do is step into the effect or step into the, uh, you know, our clip here. So we'll use our step in button. And now we can see that this is of course locked. So here's the fill. That's the actual explosion. And this here is what lets us see through it. Okay. So what we need to do is actually copy this out. All right. So I'll place it in. So I'm just using the I key. You can also use you know, your mark in out. Come down to the end. I'm going to press O. And that will, of course, make sure this is up here. So again, in, come down to the end, out. And then what you want to do is copy this. I'm just going to hit Control C because I'm on Windows. So Control C, that's going to copy it. Now come up here to your source monitor. I'm going to right click and do clipboard contents. Very cool. Let's go ahead and step out. Now what we need to do, select our clip that has the mat already on it. It should have the mat on it whenever you brought it in. All right, let's go into effects mode because we're going to need our mat key. Let's grab this and throw it into our bin. There it is. Very good. Guess what, we're almost done. Almost done. Now let's go ahead and remove this effect. Boom, now it's gone. So we still have the fill there on the bottom. Okay, still with me, good. Let's select another track above. If you don't have a track above, of course, control Y again, I'm on Windows, so I'm saying control Y, but create a new video track above uh, the fill there. All right, then deselect that, make sure we have this patched into the correct track. We're going to patch this track in here that we copied over top of our fill. So patch that in. Okay, so now what we need to do is speed up these clips. Let's just look at our fill. And we'll go to time warp. Now I happen to know I actually need 900 on this, but you can come in here to your uh, time warp editor and start messing around with the speed. Maybe try 300 and take a look at that. Not, uh, not nearly fast enough, especially if we're going to put an explosion sound effect on there. That's not nearly, uh, nearly fast enough. Pop in here. Now, like I said, I know I need 900. So I'll just do 900, type it in there, press enter. Very good. Now let me look at this. Boom, that looks really good already. But of course we need to see through it. And we need our alpha channel and our, and our mat, of course, going the same speed. So let's go ahead and grab this time warp, throw it in our bin, or we could put it directly on the clip, but I like to put it in the bin. Let's grab it now, put it on this clip. Okay, so now we have both of our clips here, the alpha and the, of course the R fill there at the same speed. Let me turn on the track behind it. Now, in order to see through this, we have to apply our mat that we saved earlier. So let's grab our mat, just throw it on this top uh, clip there, our alpha, and look at that. Perfect. Comes right in. So a bit of a workaround there from just being able to directly apply uh, your, uh, your time warp to an alpha channel clip. Let me put in this explosion. Now you can see. It looks perfect, right? Very cool. Now, this is not always the way you have to do it necessarily. Uh, sometimes you can actually get away with, we have the same clip here, just double clicking into the effect there, and you can have direct access to your fill and of course your alpha channel. So in this case, instead of grabbing time warp here, I already have it saved down here, so 900. It's gonna drag it in, pop it there, drag it in, pop it there. All right, so now this clip is actually already done. And as you can see, boom, grab our explosion sound effect here, pop that in and perfect. Now, of course, because of the way time warp works, we have to cut this clip off after it's done, meaning it's not going to change the length of the actual 
a clip there. So let's clip that off. And I'm just gonna pull that out of the way. And there we go. So how did I create something like this? Where you have both of those explosions? Well, it's actually just the same clip copied. So I'm gonna go control C just to copy it, copy it however you want. And I'll go control V, paste it in right next to it. I'm gonna grab it and put it on a track above. Okay, now we're gonna pop in here, open this up. I'm going to promote this to 3D. And just for those wondering, if you come in here, you can see because we copied it, we don't have to redo any of that work. We already have our time warps applied. So both of these clips are already in time. They're just stacked on top of each other. So we've already promoted this to 3D. That's very important for what we're going to do here. Now what we need to do is I need to move one of these over. So I have two. There we go, we'll move this one here over here. Fix the aspect ratio, make it a little bit larger there. Okay, boom, so that already looks good there. Now we have to come into our other clip right here. Effects editor, let's move this one over. We can promote this to 3D if we want, and I think I will, just because I have more options. So now I need to make sure that I move this clip over. Okay, keeping in mind your keyframes and whatnot. You don't want it moving after it uh, comes on screen, of course. Fix that. And there we go. It looks pretty good. Of course, the problem is one should be rotated around, right? Because they're coming from uh, from different angles. So let's go ahead and rotate this one around. Not hard. I already have rotation open there. I'm making sure I come back here to my first keyframe because I don't want to do it out here and you know end up creating another keyframe or something on accident. So I usually try to come back to the first keyframe, but you can always uh, mess with that later. We're gonna go with Y, we just select that button, and I want uh, either minus 180 or 180, it's not gonna matter here, 180, oh, there we go. And now when it comes in, boom, it looks great. Of course, now the problem is the position, not a problem, I can always just move that over. Of course, if I do that, I'm gonna add a keyframe there, and you can see what happens, how it slides over. So I don't want that, Control Z out of that, or I can just, uh, delete that keyframe. Now what I want is symmetry. So I'm going to come back to this other clip. And I want to see the position of it. So the position of this clip here is the position is minus 389. Okay, let's come back to our other one. Come back here, first keyframe, and position. Let's go here and just type in 389. Because one is minus 389. I want this one here to be 389. So now they are perfectly symmetrical in every way, going the same speed. We've sped up those alpha clips, have our explosion in there. So now if you watch this, perfect. Of course, I'd need to render that to get it to uh, play back faster for us, which we'll do uh, real quick here. Very good, Control Shift F, full screen. Boom, look at that, perfect. Awesome. So that is how you can speed up your alpha channel clips here in Avid Media Composer, either by grabbing your alpha channel clip with your mat on it, or just say this one here, pop it in wherever you want. And you may be able to just pop into it and directly apply your time warp, just make sure you apply your time warp to both of those clips. That way, your mat, your, you know, your alpha and, uh, and your actual fill are the same speed. If you're not able to do that, be sure to step into the clip. All right, grab the top locked alpha channel there. Place an in, just hitting I or use your buttons here. Come down to the end, mark an out. Control C, Command C on, uh, on Mac there to copy. Right click here. This is the way I do it anyway. And clipboard contents. We're just going over this real quick here. Step out again, then come in to your effect, open up your effect editor, drag your matte key out because you will need that later. Let me move this uh, down one and then remove that matte key. Come to the beginning of that clip, add another video track if you need to, take your alpha channel there, put it on top of, make sure this is patched in there, on top of that fill, okay, then Grab your time warp, speed up your fill first so you can actually see what's, you know, you can actually see what's going on. Drag it around or just type in your value. We'll just say uh, 700. 
look at it. It's a bit faster, probably not fast enough, but good enough for our purposes. Hop back into it, grab that time warp, throw it onto that, uh, that alpha channel, that white looking clip, and then grab your mat. You can throw that right on the clip. Boom, and there you go. All right, or of course, the easy way, if your clip allows you to, is double click into it and then just apply your time warp to each of those clips. And of course, boom. So that is how you speed up your alpha channel clips here in Avid Media Composer.